Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm so excited about today's video. I had an idea for another placemat pouch. I think we're up to eight or nine. Uh, there is a wallet that I didn't number, so if you think you're missing one, that's where it's at. And I'll have a playlist to all of the placemat pouch projects below the video in the description. But I had an idea for one last week and I did have a chance to make it. I just haven't had time to film it. With the holidays and family in town, I've just been really, really busy. And without further ado, are you guys ready to see the next placemat pouch? Ready? We have two versions, actually. This is a project pouch. Now, this is a zippered version, and I thought this one would be just perfect for my daughter to put in the car, to have some little activities for the kids to do in the car. Or this would be a perfect sewing project bag. So here I've got a pattern, I've got my fabric in here, my threads, my scissors. This one is no zipper. This one is all cam snaps. And if you open it, it does have a couple of cam snaps on the inside to keep everything in. But if you're going to put things in it that um, are smaller, that you don't want to fall out. I would probably recommend using the zipper, but I kind of like the cam snap pouch better. And I did a couple different hangers on this one. I met, I did this one a little bit different than this handle, just because I thought she could put this over the headrest in the car and it would just hang off the back. So the kids would have their little toys or little things to do on their long car rides in town. So without further ado, let me show you how this one's made. Okay, so here's everything you need. You're going to need your placemat. You're going to need a 14 inch or longer zipper. You're going to need two pieces of fabric cut to two by two, two pieces of fabric cut to two and a half by 14, two pieces of fabric cut to two and a half by eight. You're going to need a piece of clear vinyl. I picked mine up at Joann's. You can get it at Walmart. Um, sometimes it's tablecloth covering. Any kind of clear plastic is going to work, but you're going to want something that's sort of um, thick, not too thin, but easily sewable. So I've got this cut to 14 inches long by eight inches tall. And the first thing we're going to do is prepare all of our fabric pieces. Now I have already prepared most of mine, but with each one, what you're going to do is, let's see, you're going to fold in the ends and then I stitched down mine. That's totally up to you, but fold in the ends. If you want to stitch down them, stitch down them and then fold it in half and press it, open it back up, fold the inside or the sides into the middle just like this and press and press and then it will look like this and then you're going to fold that in half and press so again fold in the edges if you want to stitch them down go ahead I did then fold in half like this press open fold the sides in press Fold this side in, press, and then it'll look like this, and you're gonna fold that in half and press. So go ahead and prepare all four of your long strips that way. And you're going to do the same with your two by two squares. You're going to fold it in. I didn't stitch these down, but you're going to fold it in, and then you're going to fold it in half this way, and then fold those sides in, and then fold it in half this way. So I'll walk you through that one more time. Take your two by two tab, fold two opposite ends in, and then fold it in half, open it up, fold the sides to the center, fold it in half, and press. So go ahead and prepare all of your strips and meet me back here. Okay, now if you're using the cam snaps, you can skip the two by two squares and the zipper prep. On this one, I use the cam snaps. You can see there's no zipper involved. It's all snaps. So you don't need to prepare the zipper or the two by two squares. You can 
totally skip this step. However, if you're doing the zipper, let's go ahead and prepare our zipper. Now again, your zipper needs to be at least 14 inch zipper. That's the width of the placemat or longer. I often work with longer. So what I want you to do is lay your zipper across your placemat. And what we're going to do is unzip this end just a little bit. And we're just going to use a fabric pen. I'm using the Pilot Friction Pen. And we're just going to mark it right where that seam is on the edge of the placemat on both ends. Now if you're using a longer zipper, try to get these ends off of there so that you don't end up having to try to sew through them. But you should be all right. And mark, like I said, somewhere right on the inside of this binding of the placemat. So I've got mine marked just slightly inside that. All right, so we're going to move this over here. And what we're going to do is, I have some scissors here. We're going to trim off our tails. If you have a really long zipper, you want to trim it off just so it's about a half an inch or so from the marks that you just made. And what you're going to do is take one of your two by two tabs that we just folded. You're going to place the zipper on the inside, close it up, and make sure that you're not going to be sewing over that metal tab when you sew this together. But I'm just going to add a clip. We're going to take it over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew right along this edge, up, around, and back down and make a square. Now we're going to do the same thing on this end. And again, make sure your zipper is on the inside of where you're cutting so that you don't accidentally cut off your zipper pole. But I'm gonna cut this about a quarter of an inch from the lines that I made. And then I'm going to tuck these two ends. And this end's a little bit more tricky just because your zipper is not together. But line it up as best as you can. And try to keep those zipper tails together. And we're gonna add a clip. Take that over to the sewing machine, and again, you're going to sew right across here, up, and around. Okay, so I've sewn my zipper tabs into place. We can set that aside. Just wanna double check it before I go too much further that it is going to fit, and it does. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is prepare our vinyl. So what you're going to do is take your vinyl. Again, this is cut to 14 by eight. And you're going to grab one of your short pieces. They are eight inches. You're going to sandwich your vinyl on the short end right in between that fold. And put the other one on the opposite end. Make sure you've got it lined up. These tend to want to move around. All right. So now we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and you're going to sew right along this inner edge on both sides. And I would go about an eighth of an inch, just as close as you can comfortably get to the edge of that fold. Try to keep your fabric lined up. If you need more clips, go ahead. Okay, so we have our strips sewn into place. Now, if you have any overhang or anything, this is a good time to clean it up. There's nothing set in stone about how long this has to be, but you do want this edge straight for the next step. So I'm just going to trim it up a little bit right here. Make sure everything is nice and even, and the same on the opposite end. So you just want to make sure you have some nice straight edges. All right, so now you can probably guess we're going to take our long strips and place that right inside.
turn it around to flip it around and put your second side in. All right, so now you're going to take it over to the sewing machine and you're going to sew right along this edge all the way to the end and all the way to that edge. And I do backstitch at the beginning and end of my stitches. So go ahead and sew those two pieces into place. Okay, so this is how it's going to lay out. This is going to come up. Here's our window. And this is going to come down and either be our cam snap like this or our zipper like this. So what we need to do is apply the window frame to this side of the placemat. So again, put your placemat the way you're going to want it. Kind of get an idea, orient this thing, this stuff the way you want it. And then what I recommend doing is use your two-sided tape or a glue stick, whichever one you want. I am going to use, I'm gonna use the two-sided tape, but this just helps keep everything in place so you don't get things turned around and sew on the wrong side. And I'm gonna put this two-sided tape right here on this side. Again, it's going to fold up like this. My frame's going to sit on top. So I'm going to put my two-sided tape right here on this edge. And peel it off. I'm going to line my frame up right along that seam. Perfect. And this just makes it easier than clipping. Now I am going to clip just on the ends. Just because I didn't run that tape as long as the entire placemat. So what you need to do is now open this up, take it over the sewing machine, and you're going to sew on this side of your frame, right down that seam. Okay. So now what we need to do is add our zipper to our pouch. So you're going to take your zipper. If you're doing the zipper, if you're not going to do the zipper, you're going to skip this step if you're going to use the, um, if you're going to do the cam snaps. But if you're going to do the zipper, we're going to, again, use our double-sided tape, put it on this side of the zipper. I've got my pull over on the left. That's how I like it. You can do it whichever way you like. But we're going to open this up. And again, we're going to center the zipper and this piece. Try to keep everything even. The tenant. The ends. All right. Now you're going to take that over to the sewing machine and sew right along. Oops. Tape came undone. You're going to sew right along this edge to secure that zipper into place. Okay, so now we have that in place. Now we need to hook our zipper to the outside of the bag or the top flap. So again, you're going to use your tape. Line everything up. Okay, so once you have your zipper secured into place, this is a little bit tricky to sew into place. So what I do is take it over to the sewing machine, start out here, 
sew it down to about there. And then I'm going to unzip the zipper and place it back under the sewing machine and pick it back up. So all the way down as far as I can. And if you can get off the edge without going cattywampus, go ahead. But I just sew down to about where the zipper ends and then I take it out, stick it back in the sewing machine and line up my stitches and sew it the other side. So go ahead and secure your zipper into place. Okay, so this is what I mean. I have sewn that I took this over to the sewing machine. I just wanted to show you this. I took it over to the sewing machine and I opened it up and I've only sewn, I opened the zipper up, stuck this under the presser foot, and I've only sewn inside that zipper. Now I'm going to take it out and finish sewing those edges by putting it under the sewing machine this way. And I can just sew down that inch or so on each side. Okay, so now you can see I've got it everything into place. Now, you have a couple choices here. You can make this as big or as small as you want. You can loop this any way you want. I have on this one that I made, this is folded up about two and a half inches. So if I just use my grid here, two and a half, by two and a half. And if you're, if you didn't use the zipper, you're going to do the same thing right now, except for this end's going to be open. But you're going to fold it up and fold your top down. I folded it down past this for this one. But that's totally optional. Wherever you want to put it is where it should be. All right, so all that's left to do is take it over to the sewing machine and sew from here right up that edge and off if you have the zipper. If you don't have a zipper, it's going to look like this. And you're just going to sew from here to here and stop. From here to here and stop. So go ahead and stitch up your side seams. And that is basically it for the zippered version. Um, if you want to add the handle like I did, that's totally optional. I just sewed that right there on the back. And all you do is take a piece of fabric, fold it in half, just like we did on all of our edges. Fold the insides in, fold it in half, and then I stitched down both of the long ends just to keep that closed. And then you can simply sew it on right on the back, just like I did on this one. Now, if you're doing the cam snap version, yours looks like this, and I'm not gonna go through how to install cam snaps. We've done that in several of the videos, but all you do is put three snaps right here, and then I folded it down, made an indention so that I could see where to put the opposite three facing up, and then I put two more right here, with the back sides right there so that that keeps this in place. Now you still have some openings for little things to come out so depending what you're going to use it for you could also put velcro instead of the cam snaps. This one is everything is secure in place. You're not going to lose anything. It's all zippered. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Click that notification button. That's the little bell at the bottom of this video. That will make sure that you get a notification every time we put out a new video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Never stop making. Bye.